How to host a Flutter website on your custom domain. We host our Flutter web app in two simple steps. Firstly, by uploading a compiled Flutter website to GitHub. And secondly, we host our custom domain from this created GitHub repository. Firstly, we want to create a build of the Flutter website that you have created. So here I have this Flutter project and I simply go first of all to the terminal. And here inside you run then this command flutter build web. After the build has finished, you can go inside of your build web folder in your flutter project. And here you can then open up this index HTML file inside of your file structure. Next, we want to upload this flutter web build to GitHub. Therefore, we create here in GitHub a new repository. Name your repository with your GitHub username followed by this GitHub IO. Scroll all the way down and create the repository. Click here on uploading an existing file and simply drag your Flutter build then here inside. After the upload has finished, you can scroll here all the way down and click on commit changes. And with this, we have completed here step one to upload our Flutter build to GitHub. Now in the last step, we want to buy a custom domain and link it here up with this GitHub repository. Simply go to any website domain provider. In this case, I use GoDaddy. Choose here your domain. And lastly, buy then this domain. Next, we want to link this domain that we have bought to our GitHub repository. Therefore, you go simply to the repository settings. Scroll here all the way down to the pages section. And here you should see that your website is already published and online if you open here up this link. So our Flutter website is already hosted here on GitHub and now we want to change it to our custom domain. Therefore go back here to your GitHub pages and scroll here a bit down to the custom domain section. And here inside you enter then the domain that you have bought before and also make sure to click here on save. After this scroll here down again to your custom domain section and here it says that our custom domain is not yet configured and therefore you can simply click here on learn more. And next you click then on manage custom domain for your GitHub pages. And here inside you have a proper documentation about how to set up your custom domain. And what you only need to do is you need to scroll here all the way down until you see here these four IP addresses. Simply copy here the first IP address. Next, you need to go to the DNS settings of your domain provider. So simply go to the domain that you have bought and then you should see something like DNS management or DNS settings and click on it. And then you should basically see here some records which you can change. And now we simply click here on this add button and as a type you select here a record. For the host, you put here an add symbol inside and points to here you need to paste simply the IP address inside that you have copied before. And if you like, you can also change the TTL settings to custom with 600 seconds. Make sure to click here on save. And with this, we have added here our first A record with this IP address. And now you need to go back to the GitHub documentation. And here you need to add then for these three IP addresses also some A records. Therefore, copy here the second IP address, click again on this add button, select again A as a type and the same as before you put here the new IP address inside and click on save. Also copy the third IP address, create a new A record and paste here your new IP address inside and then also copy here the last IP address, create a new A record and put here your IP address inside and click on save. And now you should see here the four new A records that we have configured. In case you see some more A records, then simply click on the A record. So let's say this is an A record and make sure that you delete all the other A records that you not have created. And lastly, you need to create a C name for www that points back to the GitHub IO page. In my case, the CNAME record was already created by my domain provider and therefore I simply want to click on edit. In case you don't see it, then click on add and here you want to choose then CNAME as a type. Here you need to make sure that your host has this www inside and here instead of this add symbol, we want to point then to our GitHub page. So simply put here the GitHub username inside followed by GitHub IO. And lastly, click on the save button. 
And now you can go back here to the GitHub pages settings of your GitHub repository. And here within the custom domain, you see that we have now here a check. So everything is working fine. You can then scroll here again up and then you can open this website in a new tab. And now you should see here your Flutter website hosted on your custom domain. And you can even type here inside www in front and press enter. And this will also redirect us then to this domain. Importantly, it can now take up to 48 hours until your website is working properly.